Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Spelunky HD. Last time we died to a mine. And um, as much as I like to blame the random number generator for every single one of my deaths, that was one of those times in which I, can, I, I just have to simply admit that was not the random number generator's fault. That was my fault entirely, I admit that. Fuck the arrow traps over there though, that was, that's, that, that's not my fault, that's not the random number generators f FUCK YOU! I did so much just to avoid the arrow traps and you still fuck me with another arrow trap. Like fuck you, Nef never mind game, you're still a fucking bitch. And a half. God damn it, seriously. Out of all the fucking place, like, it tricked me. It had these two arrow traps over here, which I saw from a distance, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to avoid those. I'm going to preserve my health. And then it, it hit another arrow trap just down here, just to fuck with me. Like, that arrow trap was, like, th those two arrow traps above were just a decoy, so that I would let my guard down and be like, well, surely this area is safe now. But, and what are the chances for a third arrow trap to be hidden somewhere in here? And I'm pretty much already screwed with my health. Like fuck the nam like that's just that's just such a cheap move. That's not on me. That fuck you. That's the random number generator. Like the random number generator is a bitch. Come on, just give me another, another another couple of bombs. That's all I'm asking for. Why do you keep giving me ropes? I have 12 ropes. I think I feel like I opened three fucking uh, crates on this level and I got no zero bombs out of it. Like what are the chances for that to happen? I need bombs, goddammit. Oh, and the fucking Wujera is on this floor. Well, I can't, I, I, I can't get to, to the key without a fucking bomb. So I guess we will have to forfeit the black market level. Which ultimately isn't that big of a deal for me. I never really liked the black market level that much to begin with. But it's still kind of a shame. I need bombs, goddammit. Out of all of the stupid shit you could do to me, game, can't you just... Uh, Make something work out for me. Well, since I have so many ropes, I might as well start using them. I think I saw a shop down there, so let's visit it. Maybe it will have some bombs that I can use. Yeah, fuck you too. Give me absolutely everything that you have. I want all of those. No bombs yet though. No bombs yet. That sucks. So we we cannot get the Ujerai anymore on this run because we already skipped it. And we found the Ujerai in our in our uh our with the Ujerai missing from us, we will not be able to to get to the black market. Fuck you. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but uh, it, it can still be a, a, a significant uh, a detriment for you. Let's just use the fucking damsel as a projectile. I would really like... I would really like to kill this giant spider and get its paste, even though I have no bombs right now. Come on. J jump down, you bitch. There we go. Oh shit. Oh fuck me! Jesus fuck. Okay, I was getting... I probably shouldn't have tempted fate right there. Killing giant spiders when you don't have any bombs is not an easy thing to do. But in my defense... You should never ignore paste in the mines. Like, if you can get paste and you don't have it, you should definitely try to get it. Even when you don't, you don't have bombs, in my opinion. 
Because you never know if you'll get a second chance at getting paste for the rest of their run. And if you don't have paste, you're pretty much fucking screwed. The paste is such a necessary item, I just can't underline enough how important it is. Oh, fuck you. So, I'll, I'll defend my decision to... Uh, you know, to... To attempt to get paste from that giant spider, in spite of having no bombs on me. Uh, giant spiders are a bitch to deal with. If you really don't know what you're doing, you're kind of fucked. At least we got a boomerang now. Boomerangs don't mean that much in the grand scheme of things, but they can be useful in certain situations. Okay, that was dangerous. I should never have jumped down like that. I will be the first one to admit when I make a terrible a mistake. Even if that mistake doesn't end up costing me at all. Okay, there's some useful stuff in that uh, shop. I already saw some of those items, so uh, let's try to get down there. Okay, so let's first grab whatever is in this crate. Extra bombs is always welcome. I don't need that arrow. Fuck that arrow. Let's just get the fuck out of here and let's grab everything that's in this shop. That was so worth it. Okay, now we're packed. We are ready to deal with the hardships of this game. Provided the RNG isn't, a, isn't another fucking ass with me. All I want is to unlock the, the last character. I, all I want is to unlock the pirate girl. That's all I really need. Give me the pirate girl and we can call it a day. I really need that. I really need her. Without her, we're, I'm kind of screwed. Fuck you, really? Goddamn boomerang. Okay, there's a, there's a slave over here. So if we can get... A Kali altar that would be quite nice to sacrifice the slave yet. The chances of us getting a Kali altar though are quite low. In fact, I haven't seen that many Kali altars on, uh, on recent levels. Oh, never mind, there's a Kali altar right here. Okay, now that's good. Now buying the slave is actually worth it. We need to grab more of the yeah definitely grab the fucking damsel grab the damsel sacrifice the damsel get the paste out of it which is quite uh, fine in the grand scheme of things grab the fucking uh, Get the hired help. Let's grab the emerald as well. There's a lot of stuff to do over here. Lurch. Oh, that's a cool name. Come on, Lurch. I'll show you something cool. I'll, sh I'll show you a cool trick. No! So you see, Lurch, you stand up over here and you basically die. That's how the trick was. Oh my god, fuck me. I triggered the goddamn Kali altar. No! No! Ah, I did not the Kali altar, the fucking idol trap. But goddamn it, I triggered Kali. Oh well, we. I don't give a shit that much about it since uh, I already have the fucking Kapala, so sucks to be Kali, I guess. Fuck you, Kali! I have everything I need from you, you bitch. You can be mad at me as much as you want from this point on. I'm still going to, to make progress. Now what else do we have to do? 
Oh, fuck you. God damn it. The fucking arrow traps, man. They always take you by surprise. They fucking always take you by surprise. <sighs> Let's see if we can... Uh, I'm the Fuck the boomerang. I'm not carrying both the boomerang and the goddamn key with me. Where's the... Where is the the wood Jedi? I wonder. There it is. Okay, we got the wood Jedi. Let's grab the damsel and let's bail the fuck out. Let's move on. And we're done. Okay, so we're done with the mines. Time to enjoy the jungle. The jungle is more difficult than the mines, I feel. But it's also um, less frustrating because there are no arrow traps in it. And I find that to be quite uh, appealing. I can deal with a lot of bullshit, but arrow traps is usually the, the type of bullshit which I cannot uh, digest. I try to, but the game fucked me too fucking much. And now I just can't uh, deal with it anymore. Fuck the arrow traps. Oh shit, be careful. Where's the damsel? There's the damsel. Fuck you. Okay, we get a mattock for our reward. Now, the mattock means that in combination with the wood Jedi, we can grab a lot of uh, gems. And a lot of treasure. I don't know if this is really that important, but uh, if we might as well try to get to the black market, I guess, and see if we can get some more useful stuff. So let's go for it. Let's try to pick up as many gems as you can, increase our our money count as much as possible, and then visit the black market and see if we can buy any good stuff. What's in here? Oh my god, is that worth playing? Uh, I might as well. But I really don't like this. Yeah, we're not getting the bomb bag right now. Would have been cool if we would have, but no. This might be it though. Oh, fuck me, it's not. Come on, I just want the fucking bomb bag. Give me the bomb bag and I'll leave, I promise. The bomb bag is only worth three bombs. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with this bullshit. Yeah, this won't be it either. You know what? Fuck this bullshit. I, I, I don't need it. Like, had I been in a better position, I might have uh, tried to... To... Yeah, there we go. That's the equivalent of a fucking bomb bag right there. Like, that was far faster and more efficient than uh, how, how long it was going to take us to, to, to grab a bomb bag from that fucker. So I think that we, we were justified to leave. What's down here? Let's try to grab whatever is in here. So now let's see if we can get to the black market. If we can get to the black market, that would be ideal. But if not, then it's not the end of the world by any means. We can deal with... With... Uh, that. Let's see what's in this crate though. More bombs, excellent. So yeah, any... So another bomb bag, basically. Okay, 
extra gems for us, which means extra money. Where, where is the entrance to the black market though? I have to wonder. Usually it's not that well hidden. But we shall see. Fuck you, ghost. Had we spent more time gambling, the ghost would have been closer to fucking with us. But since I wisely decided to not do that, uh, we could we barely avoided the ghost. Can we? What the fuck? How am I going to get through the damsel from there? Oh god damn it! This is this this is going to suck. I really want to get to to the damsel, but not if I have to go through that bullshit. What the fuck was that? Oh, we managed to find the black the dangerous to to the black market by pure chance. Okay, I like that. Let's grab some more gems, some more treasure for us. Yeah, that's not worth it. Yeah, we are having, a, we have a lot of money on us. Like we can, we will be able to afford a lot of stuff in the black market, and that's always uh, great. Grab the idol. No. I'm going for the idol, fuck it. That was dangerous, but I still went for it. And you know what? I do not regret that of this season. In other circumstances, I might have regretted it though. Oh, there's another gem over here. Yeah, we have a shit ton of money. Like, I think we might even be able to afford the Ankh again. Now, will I use the Ankh to go to hell? I don't fucking think so. I I dislike hell a lot, but at the same time, I don't know for sure either. So let's uh, let's plan ahead. Le where can we use this money on? Hmm, there's some good stuff over here. There's a bunch of rubies embedded in the wall over there. I wonder if I can get to that without angering the shopkeepers. I don't know if I want to risk it though. I don't think that that's worth it. Like, I already have enough money as it is. Let's just, um, let's buy the stuff we don't have and let's just bail out. Give me this shit, and this shit, and of course this shit. Okay, so there's a caveman down there, so that's annoying. Okay, the age-old question. Do we buy a shit ton of kisses from the damsel to increase our health, or do we just buy the Ankh to revive us? I think buying the Ankh is more worthwhile. But honestly, we have enough money to aff even afford some kisses as well, so why not go for both? Usually, the Ankh is better because you can revive even in, in even in one-hit kill circumstances. Like circumstances in which having a lot of health doesn't even matter at all. So now we have 10 health, we've got the Ankh, we've got a lot of stuff going for us. And we've got a lot of items as well. So the Ankh died on us on, at the worst possible time, but whatever. Oh, fuck you. What the fuck am I supposed to do there? Fuck you, just die. Oh, 
We survived it. Okay, we're down to the ice caves. So I will not waste my ank. I will not waste my ank by trying to to get to the the final uh, to get to hell. I don't think that's a wise thing to do. Let's buy the Spectre Cross in case we'll get the Dark Temple level. And we cannot afford the mystery box, so let's just move on. What the fuck is this bullshit? I really dislike this level layout. Don't fuck with me, god fucking damn it. Oh my god, fuck you. Okay, where's the damsel? Oh shit, no! Avoid that fucker, avoid that fucker with everything that you've got. There's the damsel. We already have the Kapala though, should we bother sacrificing the damsel? I don't think that we should. There's more fuckers going on. Oh fuck off. Okay, just uh, man, I'm I'm sweating a lot today. I really I'm really sorry about that. I should learn to control my language a bit better. But it's quite difficult to do that with a game like this. Okay, so we'll sacrifice another damsel. So let's just get the fuck out of here. Like we we've got a lot of advantages going in our favor right now. Like we don't need any more. I wish I wish I had the jetpack though. That's the last thing I really wish I would have had, because the jetpack would have made vertical movement across the level so much easier to accomplish. Let's just free the damsel. Fuck you too. Oh shit! I almost uh, got hit from that. I should probably be a bit smarter about things. No! Holy shit! No! God damn it! Stupid fucking damsel! Why the fuck would you ru run out of the fucking level? I picked up the mine instead of picking up the damsel as I would have hoped to get. And uh, the mine got uh, disabled in the process, but I still lost the damsel. I never understood why damsels are as dumb as they are in this game. I understand that for simplicity's sake. Like the developers had to program the damsels to be quite dumb to make it easier to program them. But the damsels in this game are absolutely fucking insanely retarded. Like if unless you really know what you're doing, you're going to you risk a lot to, uh, to, uh, when you handle them to just lose them entirely. You have to be very careful about what, what you do. Are we at the temple yet? No, one more level. Should we go for the fucking uh, plasma cannon? I mean... I think that would be fun. We won't get a jetpack, but I think it would be fun. So let's do it. Let's, let's try to get the... The plasma cannon. The plasma cannon will make things far easier for us. Now, getting the plasma cannon is very difficult, but it's something that I feel like I feel quite confident in. That's not the alien queen. Oh shit! Fuck you! Look how many fucking you- OH FUCK YOU! Okay, I'm starting to have my- my- my doubts about my strategy right now. I'm starting to have... Second thoughts about what I'm planning on doing. Why the fuck would you- Jesus Christ, this place is fucking insane! 
There's the plasma cannon. How how is that thing still fucking alive? There we go. It's fucking dead. We got the plasma cannon. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. We've got the plasma cannon, baby. We survived. Now we'll read you the last level of the ice caves. And let's... Uh, let's have some fun. Because god damn it. The last thing that... Oh shit, this game needs... Is more is more randomness in it. No! I I thought I could jump out the fucking UFO. I lost my fucking plasma cannon. Are you kidding me? God fuck it! How did I miss that fucking jump? No! Okay, stop being fucking retarded. I need to, that was a wake up call. I'm fucking retarded. Like this is not how you play the goddamn game. You don't fucking jump into the fucking abyss like a goddamn child. That's not how you play this fucking game. Give me the fucking scepter, you bitch. We got the scepter. Let's get... I, it's not a plasma cannon, but uh, you know what it will have to do. <gasps> oh my god, how did I not see that? <sighs> oh, fuck me. Why? Why? <laughs> god damn you, Spelunky, why? <sighs> Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to get in contact with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join, details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.